it's not so nice on some of the streets and in my kitchen garden um, in West Dorset. <laughs> Hello, I'm Boan. I'm part of the core team of Wild Women Retreats and my job there is the to create the content and the programme for our retreats. Hey lovely Wild Women, this is Afric um, and I'm one of the facilitators, dreamers, planners, workers at Wild Women Retreats. Hi lovely women. Rosie here in the truck that I'm staying in in South Devon. Wishing you well. Okay, so um I'm having a few technical issues here, but anyone who knows me will know that selfies are, are not really my strong point, but here goes. Um, this is take four, <laughs> because I can't get the sound to work. <laughs> but just to say, um, the last few weeks have been really momentous, I think, for, for all of us. Um, and it has been a struggle, and at times I felt really dark and, and quite anxious. Um, but come to a point now of some equilibrium and peace and quiet resolve to use the words of the queen and uh, feeling blessed to be in such a beautiful place uh, of peace and uh, beauty i'm thinking of you all and sending you all love every day um, from my morning practice session and um, just want to say how sad we are not to be getting together this year for some real sort of soul nourishment and uh, we're just feeling that it's not really a safe or sensible thing to do right now um, but this will pass and we will be together again and, and that's something that we will look forward to immensely a time when we can hug each other and be together and uh, those of you who are out on the front line uh, or doing essential jobs to help people like me stay at home. Just sending out a big thank you to you. Um, emotional. The devastation for me seems to be in um, death in missing people distancing from friends not being able to see our family and that personally for me not seeing my daughter or my granddaughter is just heartbreaking it's going to be a long time for me a long time that I don't see them and um yeah it's difficult isn't it it really is difficult but how I actually cope on a day-to-day -day basis is taking myself out, taking myself out for that walk. Nature has always given me solace, peace, love. It's always given me a space to think deeper about what's happening in the world as well as my own little world here. So I take those moments of going out on my exercise walk every day and whether I walk into town, into the centre of town where it's very surreal and very empty or I walk, luckily enough, five minutes into a field or fields away and by the river, that fills me, that fills me up for the day and um I smile at everybody and I say hello to everybody and because I'm desperate for that contact and and if I don't see anybody I just listen to the bird song and I fill my eyes with the beauty of this land and I 
smell all that beauty that we have out there that amazing amazing earth we live on and I know also for some of you that's even more difficult because you live in towns and cities and you don't have gardens and but take a step outside beneath those paving slabs and concrete there's earth our mother earth So I've come for a walk in our woods, which are just magnificent at this time of year. The indigos and the violets of Alconet and Bluebell and it's just magnificent. Um, so our retreat has been cancelled and when I think about that I feel a real ache in my heart because over the last six years that Wild Women's Retreats has been running it's become such an important part of my life and the work that I do with Wild Women is my favourite work. I mean I'm very lucky that I have a fabulous career choice anyway. But the work that I do with wild women, I see it very much and I have a very deep belief that it's the work of the goddess. And the goddess to me is life, universe and the earth. I believe that we're born of the earth and when we die we return to the earth and that she is our goddess. Um, and it makes my heart ache knowing that the retreat isn't going ahead this year um, because I have made such close and deep connections with so many women out there and really feel the strength of the sisterhood and how much it's nourished me over the years. Um, but I also feel that we as a species have been calling for great change in recent years because climate change is becoming more evident and isn't it incredible that Greta Thunberg was out with hundreds and thousands of people six months ago calling for aircrafts to be grounded and for us to change the way that we interact with the earth and look six months later after the Extinction Rebellion movement, after Greta's movement and all of the other political or environmental activists, look at the change that's, that's happened in that time. And just wanting to say that I value so much what Wild Women Retreats is and the space and the quality that we create when we're all together. Uh, and it's not something that I take lightly and it's something that I want to give my best to. And I feel in the current context, in the current situation that priorities have changed and the situation has changed and right now for this summer, even if it was legal, even if it wasn't dangerous, even if it was ethical, I'd still be questioning whether we could give you our very best. And that's what I always want to do, um, because it's magic when it happens. safe everyone and, and lots of love from my heart to yours and look after yourselves be gentle with yourselves sleep well eat well love well 
Take care. Sending you so much love. Sending you love. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be at your back. May the sun shine warmly upon your face. May the rain fall softly upon your fields. And until we meet again, may the goddess hold you safe in the palm of her hand. <laughs>